Hello, everybody. This is uh, Kyle Kinsler with the uh, Kinsler Brown Companies, and welcome to the KB article. This is a, a weekly article, and we'll try to have different guests on here each week. This week, we have Tyler Robert. Tyler, he is a, an employee of ours, and he's uh, just gone over like it was his first year with us, and uh, we thought we'd try to do something a little bit different as uh, we're going into our, our season now, especially our tax season that's coming up right now. And I thought it might be a good idea to bring Tyler on and uh, and talk a little bit about his uh, his first year with us. But before we, we talk about that any further, but yeah, if you do like us, uh, go ahead and subscribe to, to, to us. We are on the Apple Podcast, Spotify, Amazon, Music, uh, YouTube, virtually any uh, a, a podcast provider that's out there, you will find us that's out there. So if you like the content, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and, and subscribe to it or uh, like us. And then if you also, if you like it, you know, share it with your friends too and see what they have to say. So welcome to the uh, KB article today, Tyler. This is, uh, you've done a couple of these here. Yeah. And um, generally, Chad and I try to get on and do something with, a you know, an industry leader or whatever it is. But you've been kind of leading the charge for our organization here in the last year or so. And, um, yeah, yeah, just uh, tell us a little bit about your background, you know, kind of how you come to the conclusion, like you're, you're going to school now. Right. And um, and then we kind of you got kind of a introduction to, to Kinsler Brown at a career fair. And um, then something stuck out to you there. And yeah, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you came to work for Kinsler Brown or why you thought it might be a good idea. All right. So coming out of high school, I started out engineering at UNO, um, was kind of all in with it and then decided that it wasn't for me. Um, I got laid off due to an injury. Um, and so then it was kind of like, okay, well, it's time to move on to something else because, you know, the industry just wasn't for me. And uh, I, in high school, I had done all the business classes and uh, all the accounting, finance, stuff like that. So I decided, why not go back to that? I was really good at that. Um, so I switched my major and uh, coming in with no job, no experience other than what I had in high school. And... Uh, just hopped right into the career fair looking around for somebody to potentially have an internship with and uh we always we always make this joke about how kinsler brown was that guy in the back of the room <laughs> at the career fair um you know not a lot of people were going over there and talking to him so i went over there and you know gave him a shot um kind of figured you know well <laughs> nobody's really looking at me i'm kind of new so why not try out this guy over here who's not got much um and kyle over there he was he was standing there kind of talking to me and we we really got a good conversation going and i started kind of feeling like you know maybe this is uh maybe this is something i can get around so he told me about tax school and i uh, signed up for that and uh, that was about a month out when i had met him and uh went in there and we had kind of like a small little interview at the uh, west center tax office and uh, he just, I mean, five minute interview, pretty much, you know, we just really were clicking on all cylinders. Um, I really liked the culture of the organization. I really liked, um, you know, how we were just able to flow so well. And it, it felt more like a, like a normal conversation than it did like a professional businessy conversation, you know. Um, and I really liked that because it felt like, I was being brought into something that was more of a family than it was, you know, kind of that corporate business kind of look. Um, so that's what really attracted oh. me to it. So I, I hopped into tax school and uh, here we are a year later. Right. Now, now tax school is something, um, you know, what makes our, our tax school is a little bit different than most because we do, we do do direct hire going into tax school rather than going in. And, and I think we talk, not so much. We spend the whole first day not even really getting in and cracking the tax school book. We talk more about uh, orientation, about what it is to be part of Kinsler Brown, our culture, our background, um, our vision, where we're going, that type of thing. You know, tell us about your first days like that, and what, what was it kind of? You know, what did what did you expect, and what did happen during those first days of called well, tax training, or maybe we should call it something else. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean. 
a lot of people, you know, you hear tax training and you're thinking, oh man, this is going to be <laughs> a lot of book work, a lot of, you know, kind of somebody's A lot of boring information, right? Yeah, like a lot of information you're going to be put to sleep and everything. That was a little bit of an expectation that I had, but honestly, I really didn't know what to expect. Um, new industry. Um, like I said, I had gone into the interview and it was just a completely different feel than what I was really picturing. Um, so I was really going in there just kind of thinking, you know what, let's just give it a shot, give it a few weeks, you know, see how it goes. Maybe I'll like it. Um, so I get, I get in there the first few days and I first, I mean, I wouldn't say I was quiet, but I was a little more reserved, I think, kind of standing by watching kind of how things worked and how the, um, sort I'm looking for, dynamic, how the dynamic was um, in the classroom. And uh, eventually, you know, I kind of realized, okay, this is a pretty, pretty laid back thing. You know, we, we, we were very focused on more on the uh, team building throughout you know there was book work obviously you have to learn you know the tax stuff you have to learn the different rules different regulations but we were very like you know we want to have fun with it you know we would have practice problems on the software and so we'd work together and kind of build our inner relationships with the team and uh, i would say like that core team that made it out of tax school is like so we were so tight-knit you know coming out of that right. tell me no i remember we did something a little different than we've ever done before remember we had an off day yeah yeah remember that we just said okay today is just going to be a fun day or whatever it was and we got people a little bit outside of their comfort zone but it was a team building tell us a little bit about that a little bit i wasn't gonna get too much into it but it was yeah, uh no, it's uh <laughs> it was it was basically we came in and they were like guess what guys we're gonna do a scavenger hunt today um and we were like a scavenger hunt okay well this wasn't a normal scavenger hunt because we had to go out in like the omaha metro area and like go to different stores and find different items and um one of them i remember uh me and jordan were were out at i think it was lowe's right there and uh one of them was you had to take a video of pushing the other person in a wheelbarrow so i hopped in the wheelbarrow and jordan pushed me around the whole department store <laughs> and we were taking a video of it you know and then we, when we got back to the office you know we had all that fun and then we went and looked at all the different blooper reels all the different silly things that people were doing and you know it was it was very I think that uh, was kind of a that was a that was a great day i mean nobody really was excited about it type of thing getting outside their comfort zone but i think people were surprised about how much fun that they had that day and then that just kind of created that much more of a bond you know type of thing so it's like hey that's what that's what our work was today and, you know and it was just uh we got paid to have fun and you know be there and and then we kind of but then, okay, after that, so we got through training, we took the test, right, you know, and it's like after eight weeks, you take your 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 level one certification, and then we kind of get into our, we, we get more and more into our tax season, right? So how did that tax season go, and how did that roll out for you? Yeah, so starting out, um, you know, we, we start the preparers out in, like, around January, kind of slower time. You go in there, and you kind of shadow, um, kind of see how, the office works, get used to the office dynamic. Um, and, uh, you know, I felt really prepared. I felt really good about it. I was one of the first people who passed that, the certification exam. So I felt right. really confident. And I, I really thought I had a handle on it. Um, and then, you know, that first month, uh, I, I had no idea how much, you know, I was, I was not, you know, I wouldn't say I wasn't prepared, but I was not ex expecting what was coming. And that was all these different individuals coming in with different backgrounds and different stories and coming in and then sitting in front of you. And you have to be able to do that work in like an hour time frame while also listening to them, you know, tell you their entire life story. And, you know, it was very difficult to, to kind of develop your own system around that. Yeah. And I remember, uh, you know, one of the things that we, me and you argued about was the the business card. <laughs> and you were like, oh, we got to give them the business card ahead of time. And I just wasn't getting it. And it wasn't until I got in the office where I realized that there is a level of importance that when they walk into that office, you are setting the expectation before they even come in. 
and then when they're about to leave you're also setting another expectation for next year you know you're right. setting up your your visit with them next year and making sure that they come back as a client again um right. and those are like the remedial things that you just can't teach you don't learn that until you're in the weeds you don't understand the why until you kind of like okay now i'm looking back on it and it says that's why is what kyle said to do that you know or, or whatever it was because yeah you just you give me the weirdest deer in the headlight looks when i would say just do this and you know and i'm trying to explain why but you hadn't been through the action yet to really right. understand right. why you do it until you've done a few and, and so you're building up that rapport and um and and just really kind of building that yeah like you said building the rapport with the, with the client is, is is so important and those are just skills so we try we train to you know what we can on there um but yeah it's very much an interaction with the, with the clients that, that are out in front of you of, of course um so there's a little bit of sales skills that come with that but just the interpersonal skills that you know come along with that and that comes with time right. um you also yeah that's some so we did some great things and, and tyler you seem to be you're really good with clients so you like to just divulge and divulge and divulge right now you know, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more. You've actually just passed your EA exam for your first EA exam uh, right. to be, which is the highest certification to IRS, basically, or enrolled agent. Um, so congratulations on that. Did that this last Friday. Um, but now you can take that to the next level with the client. You know, what you already knew, you build up rapport, and now you're like just taking it to that next step to even help out your clients that much more in understanding their situation. You know, so I think that's going to go a long ways. So what do, what is it you do now for, for Kinsler Brown companies? I mean, because the tax season is over on April 15th, right? So we kind of started having some conversations before the end of the year there. You know, kind of what did that look like when you were, when we were transitioning from, okay, tax season is about to end. What, what are we going to do now? Yeah, so I remember uh, we had our uh, employee reviews. And that was late March, kind of going into the end. And uh, me and you sat down in the office and uh, we started kind of talking about how the season went and everything. And then we started talking about next steps and uh, you started talking about the uh, the ACP program, um, which we had been doing throughout tax season. But we had had um, the Select Health Wireless employees were in the office kind of facilitating that for us. And then, you know, you had had this idea, well, let's get the employees involved so we can have year round, you know, employment. And, um, you know, at first, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I was a little like, eh, you know, do I want to do I want to do phones? I mean, that's, you know, that's kind of one of those things that not a lot of people tend to enjoy. But right. then we so a little started... bit about the ACP is about well, basically we provide free phones and and free data plans for people that are maybe lower income that wouldn't have to or wouldn't have access to to that. And so we have a company that we're strategically working with in the off season, so we can gainfully keep the tax offices open and keep our employees engaged, you know, throughout the year too. So. So you kind of got going on the ACP program, but then there are other things that we had you going on too. And I was yeah. like, you're like, throw it at me, throw it at me, you know, whatever you, okay, all right, here, here it is. Let's see what, you know, give them a bone over here to chew on that or there. And you seem to kind of, that, that's just kind of who you are, you know? Right. But I guess where I kind of wanted to go with this and kind of where we were saying is that if you come within the organization, basically you can take it to basically as far as you want to take it or, Hey, I need to like concentrate in this concentration over here, you know, right. that type of thing. But you're kind of like, hey, I want to kind of divulge in all this stuff. So what other kinds of things did you we did the ACP? Right. And then we, so did, we got on board with that. Um, kind of took the reins. Um mm -hmm. I took the reins pretty early on that. Um, you know, throughout tax season, we have been developing the podcast that we're on now. Um, so I was right. kind of helping out with that um at first i was doing a lot of the small video editing just to get us going um and then now we're outsourcing that but um you know keep making sure that that's organized and set and working correctly i kind of took the reins on that and then uh you know a few times um i know there was one time where you were out of town kyle and there was a networking event and uh you sent me out 
you were like, hey, go to this event and uh, just see what you can get out of it. And so I just kind of showed up. I, you know, a lot of times with that, I have no idea what to expect. I just kind of show up and I'm like, all right, I'm just going to do well, my you never thing. never know, really, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, but really, when you're doing networking, it's about talking to people. You just have to start talking, you know? No. You, you can really get far if you just start talking to just the first person that you see and then it dominoes. Eventually you get to the, the most important person in the room because you're talking to everybody and they're like, oh, you should go talk to that guy or you should go talk to that guy because he's doing that. Um, so, you know, one of the things that I'm really passionate about, the reason why I want to get my hands in all of that stuff is that the more that you know, about an organization and the more you understand about how everything's going on and the closer that you can get to, you know, that that higher level and know in the know, the more that you can actually contribute your skills to the organization because you understand, okay, I have this ability. Like for example, we're talking about how I'm good with people. We know that I'm good with people. So how did we leverage that? Well, you sent me out on networking events, right? right. So we we were able to better figure out what my skill sets and my strengths were so that we could use that to the most efficient and effective advantage of the Kinsler Brown organization. Okay. Okay. No, that's that's cool. Now, going forward, would you recommend Kinsler Brown going forward to, let's say, people, they're just kind of, maybe they're out. We went to an event last week. We went to a UNO career fair there last week. We had an opportunity to speak to a lot of those guys. What, what are the kinds of things that you said, make, what, what makes Kinsler Brown maybe a little different than other organizations that are out there? Yeah, so um, one of the main things that I was just really pushing at that career fair with, with these students, my peers, um, was that you know, when you go and work for a guy like, you know, you have Charles Schwab and those big companies out there, when you go and work for them, you know, you're, you're at the bottom of the pyramid. Like there's, right. you don't, you can't really talk to the CEOs. You can't really talk to those upper management people, you know, and when you're trying to learn and be a student, sometimes that can be a disadvantage because there are things that you, you got to understand, like you got to know how to be a leader and you got to know how to do those things. And here at Kinsler Brown, you're, you know, our, our owners, you and Chad, are very hands-on. Um, you know, we have regular meetings. Um, I know me and me and you talk probably 10 times a day. <laughs> I mean. I don't know, you know that much sometimes. Some days it seems that way. Right. Yeah. But but there's more, um, like, you're very personal, you know, with, with the people who are running the organization. And that allows you to understand exactly what's going on. There's, n like, not a lot of uncertainty because – if we have a question, then we can just call you. Right. And you, you don't get that in bigger organizations. And that's, that's kind of the, one. Yeah, that's kind of the new word that I've kind of adopted lately is certainty. Because if you don't have certainty, I mean, how can you be as an employee within an organization if you don't know what it is that you're supposed to do? And I think that's a lot of times people, they don't know what they're supposed to be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And, you know, what is the outcome supposed to be or what, or what are we working towards, you know, without certainty? Of, of what that is that's that's uh yeah that and i think you know there's a time this this last year where i took a we were gone for a couple of weeks or whatever and it's like it's like we almost like gosh we, we didn't have that certainty anymore when we come back and people were kind of so we really got to so we do we do meet a lot and um and i know organizations don't like to you know spend a lot, and we don't spend a, too much time in meetings but i think we need to have where we get everybody comes in together so everybody knows what the vision is because we do have the we have the tax planning side of our business we have a bookkeeping side of our business we have the, the tax and uh it's just you know and there's a couple other things that that we have that are in the uh that are in the irons right now too and then but um but if you don't have that consistency where everybody kind of knows this is what we're all working towards you know, there's not a whole lot of individuality there. It's all, you know, it's the team thing, right? So that's that's what we need to, you know, we need to get on on the team or, or whatever it is. So, all right. No, that was excellent. So you've been with us for about a year and you've had about four or five different hats, it seems like, that, that, you, that, that you've worn. Um, you go out there, we probably even had you going out, you know, you, you do some marketing. Um, you, you you help with with the tax side of things you're rolling out other uh business avenues that that we have as well and um kind of 
And today you got to go out and you're, you're doing a little event with the ACP program, get you outside of the office, which is kind of, to me, it's kind of the funnest part of the business. Like I, I really don't like being within the four walls and I know you're not either, but it's something that we have to do during tax season anyways. But right. um, yeah. No, any, anything in closing there, Tyler, that you'd like to add or. Um, I mean, I think, you know, one of the things that, I love the reason why let's talk about the reason why I stay right <laughs> you know why okay. why did I stay a whole year um and it really what that comes down to is that um I, I don't have any fear you know I feel like I can come into work and it's like even if I have no clue what's going on it's like I can figure it out I can you can derive just about everything in this company you know as long as you you know that hey you know if there's an issue, you could call so and so, and you know, beyond that, it's pretty much in your hands. So you have a lot of like control over. Hey, you know, this is what I'm going to do today to advance this and get it moving. Um, you know, you probably remember very distinctly during tax season when I started a whole competition and started driving. You know, the right. tax season during February. You know, right. just getting things going. I, I started a whole competition across the whole team. And people showed up for it. I got beat. Right. <laughs> you know, I got beat. Here I was talking all. Yeah, this I counted smash. like six times, man. It was like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, no, you did a fantastic. You're, you're driving it. But if you don't know what the vision is of the organization or where to go and say this needs to get done, and another thing that we talk about too is, and we do talk about our, you know, our attributes of being accountable and winning the day and be present when, uh, you know, what we do and have be disciplined in your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, and, and those types of things. And we just kind of instill that. But another thing too, is that when we go to work each day with that, we have a plan. We're just, we don't want to just go to work and just, just for the sake of going to work and punching the clock. Um, we want to move thing. We want to move our organization forward each and every day. So we talk about, Hey, what are those three to five things that we're going to do every day? That's going to help drive our organization going forward. You know, what, what is that? What does a win look like? If I did this today, this would be a win if I did this today. And if you come to work with that kind of attitude each day, it's amazing how much, hey, after a year, look how far, much further our organization is forward than where we were a year ago. And I thank you, Tyler, for being part of that and leading our organization. You obviously, you got the attitude for it. And I think we've got, uh, got other people within the organization that they see that. They say, hey, I want to be part of that. And you, and you just, and you, so you as the employee, it's not always best from the employers like Chad and I to say, hey, this is what needs to get done. It doesn't come the best if it's from the employer all the time. But if you have people that want to build something up and do it internally and say, hey, guys, this is what I'm doing today. This is, you know, what's going on and we're making improvements over here or whatever it is. And you show up to work and you got that right attitude that goes that speaks so much more volumes than it would coming from chatter right right it's just people it's more it's it's more attractive and uh, people want to be part of that so thank you very much for being part of that we do have a our tax school recruitment uh, season going on right now so we have a tax school that's starting up here about three weeks or so so if anybody is interested in that uh, we'll put the communication on the below of this uh, podcast article here uh, and um, to where you can contact to uh, us uh, and uh, and be part of that we're going to have a couple of open houses that are coming up if you'd like to see or learn more about the kinsta brown organization as well so yeah fantastic all right tyler very good we'll we'll, we'll call that good and thank you everybody for coming out to the the, the kb article today we'll see yeah. you now all right Bye -bye.